Yo, what is good, yo? It's your boy Ty back here with another video. And in this video today, we are going to be doing another episode of our Extreme Makeover My Team Edition, in which you guys send in your squad. So tell me how much MT you have or how much MT you want to spend. Let me know whether you are on current gen or next gen. I take your squad, I break it down, and I get into that. So here we got a bunch of squads. I'm going to choose, you know, six, seven, eight squads to go over. Again, I had like over 100 replies. So if you didn't see your squad in this video, I do want to apologize. Hopefully my suggestions can go into your squad as well. Got a lot of new content, so it's going to be tough. I'm only going to plug in auctionable players. I'm not going to tell you guys, you know, you got to go get Jason Tatum. I'm not going to say anything crazy like that. Before we dive any further, if you are new to my channel and have not yet, please consider smash that subscribe button as we are on the road to 90,000 subscribers. First squad here was sent in by my guy HK on Twitter who says he is on next gen and is getting Yao Ming. So the first thing I want to say, and he says he wants to get Tatum as well. So here's the deal. I'm going to plug in Yao right here. And I'm also going to plug in Jason Tatum because if you get those two guys, I'm really liking your squad already. Now, people love LaMelo Ball. I think LaMelo Ball is the best point guard in the game. People love Larry Hughes. They think he's a top three point guard in the game. So I'm not changing any of that. Kawhi, AK, not changing that either. The things I really see, okay, let's say you replace KG with Yao. Now you got Aiden. Let's say you replace Tatum. Let's just plug him in for AK. Slide AK there instead of Josh Smith. Now your squad's looking really good. The only other things that I would maybe encourage, I like DeAndre Ayton. I think Chris Stepp's Porzingis is better. And that's really it. I mean, that's really all I can really say. You can maybe plug in Giannis AD for Maurice Lucas. I think that would be a little bit better. But overall, this is your, this should be your goal squad right here. Next squad here is set in by Izzy's Burner on Twitter, who says he has 100, 160,000 MT to work with, is on current gen, and that he is going for Jason Tate. Obviously, if you get Jason Tatum, I like him a lot. Another guy I like that I think might be relevant is DeAndre Ayton. So, he said he's going to bench DeRozan and start Tatum. So, this is going to be his updated squad once he gets Jason Tatum. Now, I think your weakest leaker link right now is either Jalen Brown or DeMar DeRozan. If you're on current gen, I think you have to find a way to plug in Rudy. That's This is just my suggestion. Plug in Rudy for DeMar. That's just my suggestion. I do not love DeMar DeRozan. I'm plugging in Rudy over DeMar. Now, again, obviously, if you want to keep DeMar DeRozan, you can do what you want to do. I mean, he said DeMar to the bench, so I'm guessing that's not in the cards. Another thing, I'm replacing, uh, pick one, Serge Ibaka, Maurice Lucas, whoever you like more, keep. Whoever you don't like as much, plug in DeAndre Ayn right there. Then I'm shifting to that shooting guard position. That, that has to be your next uh, kind of agenda, in my opinion, is that shooting guard position. Whether you want to plug in Kobe, whether you want to plug in Kawhi, Whoever you want to plug in, that's fine. If you're on current gen, I don't think there's a better shooting guard in the game than Kobe Bryant. Make those two things happen. I think this squad is a lot better off. Next squad here was sent in by my guy Ayo on Twitter, who says he is on next gen and has 300k to work with. Also did say that he thought about picking up Chris Depp's Porzingis, but doesn't like the skinny player mode. Now, what I'll say is, I get where you're coming from, but KP really does not have that skinny of a player build. Like, if you use the card, you're not going to notice it be that bad. I think KP is definitely a good addition to start things off today. Now, outside of that, your squad is complete. I'm not here to, you know, break down your squad. The only other addition that I would definitely encourage with your MT is LaMelo Ball. I'm a massive fan of LaMelo. Choose one, Larry or Gary, whatever one you like. Get rid of the other one. And I definitely think this is the squad I'd run with. Next squad here sent in by Alex says he has 50K to work with. Level 38, and he's slowly grinding for Jason Tatum. Now, here's the deal. I don't see much of Jason Tatum yet. I mean, if you had, I mean, a guy like Larry Hughes, he could obviously go into the lineup. So I'm not really going to even be plugging that many players into this lineup right now. I'm just going to be making some suggestions. Right now, your point guard position is pretty weak, okay? It's the first thing I notice when I look at your squad. You got Allen Iverson, Alex Crusoe. So the first thing I recommend is if you did mention, uh, you did mention the fact that you are going for Tatum. So Larry Hughes is, another, is, is a great addition. I really do like Larry Hughes. Now at your backup point guard, there's a lot of different options that you can go for. I mean, especially now because we got LaMelo, there's cheaper point guards on the market. Heck, I go and look up Penny Hardaway's 50,000 right now. You plug him into the lineup as well. 
I'm a big fan of tall point guards, and if you're trying to have success in the game, that's something I recommend. You got him for Tatum, you can get Larry Hughes, you pick up Petty Hardaway. He says he's level 38, so he's about to get Yao, and if he gets Jason Tatum, here's what your uh, lineup could eventually look like, okay? You get Jason Tatum, okay? You get Yao me. That's the first thing, okay? Sell Surge, right? You got Maurice Lucas. Then you're gonna have other cards that can do something. Like, there, there's plenty of other cards. You got guys like Aiden, obviously, that can't really fit in the lineup. You got guys even like a Ben Gordon who's decent enough. But now you have options, right? You have options if you do grind for Tatum and do get Yao Me. Next squad here was sent in by my guy Krusty on Twitter, who does have 700,000 MT to work with, and he is on current gen. So. You're on current gen, 700,000 MT to work with. First thing I see is you got a 13 man rotation. The second thing I see is I see this Shaq who I do not like. I'm gonna plug in D-Rob right there. Now your lineup looks okay. You like John Morant, you like Dwayne Wade, that's fine. But if I'm building my squad, what I'm gonna do is, I'm sorry Dwayne Wade, you've gotta go. LaMelo Ball, welcome to the squad. Now thing I'm doing, plugging the dentist in there and selling Joe Johnson. Just trying to sell some cards to get your MT up a little bit. Now, does Kawhi Leonard have a spot on this squad? On current gen, it's tough because I don't think he's better than anybody at the shooting guard small forward position, so probably not. If you are on current gen, a guy you might want to try out is Rudy. If you've already tried him out, that's fine. The only other thing I can maybe recommend is upgrading uh, Maurice Lucas. Maybe you plug in Giannis instead. That's really it. Instead, I mean, other than that, your squad is really good, especially if you do like Job Morant. But again, guys, there's really no reason to be running a 13 man, especially on current gen. Next squad here is sent in by Jay. On next gen has 1.2 million MT to work with. He says he, you know, basically sold his team. He wasn't having fun, but he wants to jump back into this season. So the first thing I'm gonna do, sell some of your players that hold some value, okay? Guys that can't play, Al Horford, Vucevic, he's, and Glenn. Those guys cannot play. Michael Redham, I'm gonna drag here, and Dame, I'm gonna drag here. Cause I don't know if I want them to play. So basically got to build a brand new squad, but we've got a lot of MT to do it with. So the first thing I'm gonna do, plug in big KP at center. Buy out, plug him in at center. Can have a lot of fun with him. Small forward, Andre Kirilenko. Just upgrade from the diamond to pink diamond. So perfect. Already got, you know, two really good players in right there. Terry Dishinger, a buyout. Plug him in there at that small four position. Let's just go ahead. It's really your choice. I'm going to, for the sake of your MT, plug in Penny Hardaway right now instead of LaMelo Ball. If you do want to have fun with the new season and pick up LaMelo Ball, I'm fine with that as well. But right now, I'm just going to plug Penny Hardaway in right there because Terry Dishinger is going to handle the ball more anyway. But we're still just going to get a lot of these buyout types of players that I think are definitely absolutely incredible. David Robinson is absolutely incredible as well, especially if you don't want to grind the game. He's basically a buyout as well. One thing I'm going to tell you to do is pick up Josh Smith. He's a fantastic power forward. And your backup center, you can pick up Anthony Davis, LeBron James, Giannis. Really depends. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to plug in the Giannis onto the floor, just for the sake of this video. You got one shooting guard position left. Again, you can plug in Kawhi, you can plug in Kobe. Can really go a lot of different ways. I'm having a lot of success with Kobe recently, uh, and so that's who I'm going to plug in. You got a 1.2 million MT. Most of these cards are buyouts. Should definitely be able to build that squad. Last squad of the day was sent in by my guy KO here on Twitter, who says he now only has 10,000 MT to work with. He is on next gen because he just got Lamella Ball. Now here's my question for you guys. I see Jason Tatum, but where's Larry Hughes? Where is uh, DeAndre Ayton? Those guys have to play if you got Tatum. I'm sorry. Like Kyrie, get what you can for him. George Mikan, get what you can for him. Those guys legitimately have to play. So if you sell them, maybe you have like 50,000 MT somewhere along those lines to work with. Uh, another thing you might want to think about doing is getting rid of Paul George. Maybe uh, plugging in a guy like Darius Mouse who might be a little bit cheaper. Slapping out him, maybe moving Jason Tatum to that three. Then the only other thing I recommend is trying to upgrade grub grade buddy healed. But maybe for a guy like 50,000 MT, heck, maybe you work and build your MT up for a guy like Scary Terry, who I'm a big, big fan of. This should be your ultimate goal lineup, in my opinion, that you should be trying to build. All right, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of our Extreme Makeover My Team Edition. I hope each and every one of you guys watching did enjoy it, guys. 
drop a like on the video subscribe if you are new and as always man i love you guys and have a blessed day